Welcome back to How to Learn the Nordschleife in Under an Hour, part four. Well done for making it this far, especially if you didn't know the track at all to begin with. Today, we're delving into one of the most enjoyable sections on the entire circuit. My favorite, section four. Up until now, we've been breaking the episodes down into three runs, learning the names of the corners, learning how to drive the track, and then showing you a high-speed demo. But today, we're going to add an extra step, the three trees method. The reason for adding this extra step is because despite being the most enjoyable part of the track in my opinion, lots of quick direction changes, curbs you can use, undulations, elevation changes, it's also a section people really get lost at, and the three trees method is a way to completely get around that. But anyway, more of that later. So we begin this section by exiting the carousel, so you'll know exactly where we are, it's a very very famous corner. Now, this next initial section doesn't really have a name, so we've just referred to it as Exit of Carousel and then Approach to Hoa Act. The first run up the hill here is full throttle, and then there's this high speed left, which is sometimes a lift and it's sometimes full power. It's this next left-right section where the corners start to become a bit more substantial and also begin to have names. This is Hoa Act. So Hoa Act is actually the second highest point on the whole circuit. It's named after the highest mountain in the entire Eiffel region, which is nearby. And this really marks the start of the tricky section that people tend to struggle to remember. Hedwig's herd doesn't really need thinking about, it's just this short straight, which feeds you into Whipperman. Literally means seesaw man, because it used to be bumpy in the past. There's still some undulation, and certainly you can use the curbs here, which makes it a little bit bumpy anyway. That's probably my favourite corner on the entire circuit. That leads us into Esbach, which means Ashbrook. It's a very tricky corner, not least because the exit here is over a blind crest. That then leads you down this twisting hill into a section called Brunchen. Now you'll see Brunchen in lots of YouTube videos, and that's because this is a section that's easy to get to from the main road. It's a very large car park, lots of spectators here, you can see a few to our left right now. And this next corner here, people tend to refer to as YouTube Corner. Now, in the middle of YouTube corner here, this starts blending into ice curver, literally means ice corner. This section here stays very slippery, even for long periods after the rain has finished. As you crest this next hill here, you drop down into Flansgarten, or Flansgarten 1 as it's often referred to. There's actually a jump down here at the bottom of this hill, but we're not going to cover that in this video, and that'll be a nice marker for part 5. The three trees method is a way of memorising this section of the track, which could otherwise just look like a series of lefts and rights. Imagine there are three incrementally larger trees in a row in front of you, and you're going to drive round each one on its right hand side. At the moment, as we exit the carousel, rising up the hill here, this isn't involved in the three trees method, but for continuity I thought I'd just include this same section of track so you knew exactly where this next section begins. So you're rising up to her act, and it's as you turn right after her act that this section, using the three trees method, is going to begin. So imagine those trees are directly in front of you right now. Here's the first one, the small tree in front of us. We're going to go round it, so we'll turn right, left, and then right again. And then we're back on that straight line. The next tree is now in front of us. This is the slightly larger tree, we'll call it the medium tree. You're going to turn right, left, and then right again as you go around that tree. So we're almost round it now. We're going to turn right at the bottom here, down into Brunchen. So that's tree number two complete. The next one, the large tree. Tree number three is directly in front of us. Remember, these are imaginary. There's actually lots of trees around here, as you can tell. We're going to go all the way around this. Now, in the middle here, there's this slight chicane as we start the section which leads down into Flansgarten. But by this point, you've already done the third tree. It doesn't really matter. If you've managed to memorise it up to this point, then it's worked. And then you'll know exactly where you are. That's the end of section four. So now, as always, we'll talk about the fastest way to drive this section. As you exit the carousel, it's full throttle up this hill. And the first time you really have to think about anything is on the approach to Hoa Actor. You might need a little bit of a lift. On fresh tyres, that corner is sometimes full throttle. A damp of the brakes and a downshift will then lead you into Hoa Act. And as you crest the hill, you might want to just brush the brakes to allow you to stay accurate through this right-hander. It's then full throttle down through Hedwig's Hoa, and you've got Whipperman with a very fast entry coming up. This is my favourite corner on the track. You'll need to dab the brakes in order to stay left here, maybe kiss the kerb. Definitely use the flat kerb on the right-hand side before you then take a late apex 
into S back. Now you can't actually see the exit, but once you've done this a few times, you'll know there's an exit curve there you can use. Then try not to run too deep down the hill here, as you then stay left on the approach to Brunchen. A dab of the brakes, don't touch that big curb on the inside, but you're welcome to use the flat one on the left. Another late apex here as you head up towards Ice Curver, and that's because otherwise you'll run deep into that gravel trap. And as you exit Ice Curver here in this left hander, there's another very late apex. You can use the curve on the right hand side though, so take that into account. You can carry quite a bit of speed into that one. As you drop down the hill into Flansgarten, this is easily full throttle, and we'll talk about the jump that's coming up in part five. So finally, during the full speed run through, we'll just go back over a few key points so you know exactly where you are on the track. Exited the carousel. This is the section that doesn't really have a name. We're just going to call this one Approach to Her Act. So Her Act, remember that's that high lookout at the top of the hill just here. And as you crest Her Act, that's the beginning of our Three Trees Method section. Hedwig's Her is the short straight here. And here comes the first tree. The first tree is inside Whipperman, which was that seesaw man corner that used to be bumpy. Next up, Ashbrook, S back, which is also the second tree. Lots of these corners with late apexes. So trying not to run too deep down the hill here, otherwise you'll be on the right-hand side as you approach Brunchen. Brunchen's where all the big crowds are. There's also that YouTube corner. And here comes the third tree and ice curb. So remember, this part stays very slippery when it's wet and even after it's dried out in other parts of the circuit. There's a curb you can use on the right-hand side. As you crest this hill, that drops you down into Flansgarten. The plant garden where the Count of Nurburg used to keep his favourite flowers. And that's it. You've made it. We've got one more section to go. And as you can see from the picture, part of it is a very long straight. So join me next time to finish learning the Nurburgring in under an hour.